Hi, I'm Felipe with Innovate Motorsports and I'm here today to show you how to tune the SCG1 Boost Controller. The first thing you should know about the SCG1 is that the upper right hand corner display view is reserved for the status of the Boost Controller. It will communicate your duty cycle percentage, boost cut or AFR cuts when they're present. To enter the Boost Controller's menu, press and hold the left interface button and that will allow you to enter the menu. From there it's easy to navigate, either use the right or left buttons and that will take you to the different menu items. To change a menu item, press and hold the left interface button again and it will flash indicating that you are ready to make a change. From there, use the left or right interface buttons to either increase or decrease the values of your desired menu change. To go back to the main display, you can either let the gauge sit for 15 seconds, it will automatically revert to the main screen, or you can press and hold both buttons at the same time and it will bring you back to the main menu. Now it's time to tune the boost controller. To properly tune the SCG1, you first need to find out what your stock base spring pressure is. To best accomplish this, press and hold both interface buttons on the SCG1. SC off will display on the upper right hand corner of the gauge, indicating that the boost control functions are turned off. This is also a good time that the wastegate is not having any times maintaining boost. If you have any issues with boost creep or maintaining boost, those will need to be corrected before continuing tuning the boost controller. If everything's working as it should, make a note of what boost was achieved on the boost controller. Press and hold both interface buttons to turn the boost control function back on. On this particular application, we're making five PSI on the stock base spring. Now that we know the base boost pressure, we can tune the active pressure. On previous versions of the SCG1, this was actually called the spring pressure. The active pressure setting is essentially the activation of the boost controller, is when the boost controller becomes active. A good starting point for this setting is two to three PSI lower than your base boost pressure. On this particular car, we're gonna start with three PSI and move down until we have good active pressure. If you see the duty cycle on the upper right hand corner come up sporadically or not at all, Continue lowering your active pressure until you see that duty cycle reliably on the upper right hand corner every single time you go into boost. Next thing to tune is your duty cycle. Simply put, the higher the duty cycle, the more boost you make, the lower the duty cycle, the lower the boost you make. It's a good idea to make small changes initially and slowly increase these until you reach your desired boost pressure. The last setting to change your boost settings on the boost controller is going to be the gain function. The gain function serves as a fill if you are losing boost at the top end. Gain will add a percentage of duty cycle over time. One of the most important features of the SCG1 are the safety cuts. These cuts are considered as a worst case scenario and should be set up for what's outside of normal for your tune. It is important to note that the safety cuts will only cut to your base spring pressure. Boost cut by pressure will cut boost if an over boost condition exists. Boost cut by FR will cut pressure if a lean condition exists. Both of these can be configured within the main configuration screen on the SCG1.